The logical operators are used for combining logical conditions. Here I have a working copy of working.cpp from chapter 6 of the exercise files. And let's just start by creating a couple of logical conditions. I can just do this with Boolean values. I can say bool a equals true and bool b equals false. And then I can say if a and b puts true, otherwise puts false. Now when I build and run, you see that this is false because the AND operator is a Boolean operator, a logical operator, which returns a true result only if both of its operands are true. And so if I make B also equal to true, then we get a true result. And if one of them is false, or if both of them are false, then we get a false result. So there are just a few Boolean logical operators. Another one is OR. This will be true if either of these conditions are true. And there's also NOT, which will negate an entire logical expression. And so NOT is the exclamation point like that. And if I say NOT, then I just get the opposite result. So this used to be true, now it's false. And if I make it so it would otherwise be false, then it will become true. So these logical Boolean operators operate on any expression that returns a Boolean true or false. Boolean true is any value that is not zero, and Boolean false is always zero. Or rather, any value that is equal to zero is Boolean false. And so I can do this, I can say, just get rid of these for now, and I can say zero or one, and I get true. And you know, I get a couple of warnings here because constant operands aren't are kind of frowned upon here. So if I instead say int x equals zero, int y equals one, then I can say x or y, and I get true. I can also use this to combine relational expressions. So if x is greater than y or y is greater than x, then we'll get a true. So you can see where this is going. These logical operators are simple, they're straightforward, they operate on logical conditions, and they may be used for logically combining conditions or logical values.